What's up, YouTube? So, just about a week ago, just over a week ago, Pastor John and Aventa Gray appeared on the Real Talk Show, and Pastor John Gray denied having a physical affair with the alleged mistress who has been spilling his tea to blogger Larry Reed Live. And although many people felt John Gray was lying based on those doggone voicemails, one Kojic Bishop decided to call Pastor John Gray out for lying on Twitter. Bishop Talbert Swan of the Nova Scotia Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of the Church of God in Christ in Canada has called Pastor John Gray out as a liar in front of the whole world. In case you missed it, Pastor John Gray said on The Real, over a year ago, my wife and I were in a very difficult place in our marriage. And in that time, I began to converse with someone other than a counselor, other than a pastoral leader, which is where I should have taken my issues and challenges and began to converse. And I was even in the presence of that person one time. But being in the presence of someone is not the same as sleeping with them. I did not sleep with anyone and began to converse and I was even in the presence of that person one time but being in the presence of someone is not the same as sleeping with them I did not sleep with anyone I, there's no baby there's none of that and so it's important for me to take responsibility for the areas where I did come up short okay. sharing things about my marriage outside of my wife and outside of trusted counselors is an emotional affair it was wrong I take responsibility for that but I will not take responsibility for that which I did not do as a pastor, it's important for people to know that when I get up in that pulpit, I come not as a perfect man, but as a broken man, which is why we talked about these very things yeah. at the first sermon of our church. Right. People act like this is something, you know, brand new, but we've walked through this. We have peace, but people don't. Yeah. So, oh, again, this is the, the, the genesis of this was over a year ago, mm -hmm. but we talked about this in May uh, at our church. And, and so we're moving forward. We're believing God that this will be an opportunity for other people to heal. Mm -hmm. But I do yeah. want to set that record straight. So like you just said, you wanted to clarify that there was not, this was not a sexual affair. Correct. Because people could come up with hotels and voicemail receipts Absolutely. or whatever. What is that about? Well, here, first of all, that is the case. My wife and I, again, we've talked through this. We've walked through this. Mm -hmm. Being in the presence of someone is not the same as being physically intimate. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, Aventer, she was aware. We've walked through it. We have peace. This is not new. It's new to people, but it's over a year old, and we're going to move forward. And the reason why we're talking about it is because people need to have healing. Okay. How long was this emotional affair? Um, I would say there were probably a couple months where there were conversations. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how, Aventer, how did you find out about this affair? So in our relationship, we have open communication and transparency. Mm -hmm. So when it came up, I was like, what is this? You know, I went, I went in. I am a woman who, you know, I wasn't mad at her. I'm mad at you. And I want to know what happened and how did we get here? Um, so when it came up, we talked about it and it was hard. It was a really hard and painful place. But I have to say that I'm grateful that it happened and that this was our appointment for growth as a married couple, because there are some things that you are not going to address. Brokenness, I have brokenness, he has brokenness, but some things won't come up until you are tied to another human. Mm. You don't have to face yourself with yourself. So when you are married to someone, I don't think anybody goes in looking to hurt right. the other person. Yeah. But I really believe that, that there was a situation that had to happen for us to grow. And so for us to not, to not think it's all roses and rose colored glasses, mm -hmm. there were some things about my husband that would have never been, he would have never had to face had I not been here and the same for me and him. Like, mm -hmm. But Aventer, I'm, I'm asking, how did you find out about it? Did you see something on his phone? I think it was something that he sent that didn't look right. Um, so I asked him about that. I don't okay. see a message from her. Got it. Yeah. Got you. And okay. Aventer, have you ever spoken to this woman or did you connect with her at all? Never. Never? No. Do you know what she looks like? I have no clue. I, I have no clue. Does that matter to you at all? Actually, no. You know why it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter because I feel like 
whoever this person is. And, you know, she knew he was married because I asked if he, you know, that was a conversation between us. I was like, oh, you know, I think the way this particular situation came up is that when you have history with people, you have people you went to school with and all of that kind of stuff, that there can be, you know, that little edge of, so how are you? You keep going. Mm -hmm. It kind of right. keep, keep, keeps continuing. So, um, after he and I dealt with it, we've seen counselors, we we Good. talked about it, and yeah. we were comfortable standing in front of our congregation just saying, hey, I was getting ready to leave. I didn't say I was getting ready to leave because he talked to someone else. And that's how it just got, you know, blown out of proportion uh, and people yeah, were able to layer so it. Honest. Uh, let me see. I'll never regret being honest. I, I'm, we're on the real. But, yeah. So I have to be you know, real with my feelings. Because like you said, time. you started your thing saying that. Yeah, we started our church, church with saying that. that. Because I needed people to know that we came from a broken place, but we are walking through the place of healing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the counseling helping? Absolutely. But here's the thing. What I found out is the issues and challenges in my marriage are not eight years old. We've been married eight years. The issues are 41 years old mm. because oh. I'm 45. Yeah. I'll be 46. And what happened to me on the front lawn of my house when I was abused is where the beginning of my brokenness started. Mm -hmm. And so I had to go all the way back to my childhood. Yeah. There's a broken little boy in here that doesn't know how to function in intimate places. Wow. And so that fear, that brokenness traveled into my marriage. So you look for safe places. And I went to an unsafe place. But I take responsibility. Thank you. And I take responsibility. I don't believe, you know, people say, well, you try to blame the devil. I don't blame the devil. I blame me. I blame me and I take responsibility. And I think that's what men should do. And thank I think you for that. Your honesty. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Thank, you for your, thank you both yeah. for your honesty. But anyway, although I personally felt that Pastor John Gray was not telling the complete truth, I've decided to keep my opinion on the matter to myself. And at this point, I'm just reporting the facts of the situation. And the fact is that after Pastor John Gray appeared on national television and denied having any physical contact with the alleged mistress, blogger Larry Reed Live released not only the voicemails of John Gray admitting to booking the woman a hotel room in the same hotel as him and Aventer, but he also released a link the interview with the alleged mistress. I'll leave a link in the description box to that interview so you can hear it for yourself. In addition to bloggers exposing Pastor John Gray, now church leaders are exposing him as well. The first to publicly call out Pastor John Gray for lying is Bishop Talbert Swan. If you're not familiar with Bishop Talbert Swan, here is a little bit of his bio. His full name is Talbert Wesley Swan II, and he was born in 1965. He's an American prelate of the Church of God in Christ and serves as the Bishop of the Nova Scotia Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction in Canada. The Church of God in Christ is a Pentecostal holiness Christian denomination with predominantly African American membership with more than 12,000 churches and over 6.5 million members in the United States. This is the church that I grew up in before my family switched to the Baptist Church. The National Council of Churches ranks the Kojic Church as the fifth largest Christian denomination in the U.S. and Bishop Talbert Swan is the fourth leader of the jurisdiction and oversees Kojic congregations in his province. He serves the denomination as Assistant General Secretary and Senior Advisor to Charles Edward Blake Sr., the presiding bishop. Now this is all according to his current bio. Bishop Talbert Swan is also very outspoken on social issues, which you can see on his Twitter feed. At one point, Bishop Talbert Swan was even suspended for Twitter for quote unquote hateful conduct when he referred to ultra conservative African American critic Candace Owens as the C word. Okay, so you can see this bishop is very outspoken, not just on religious issues, but social issues as well. And on March 20th, Bishop Talbert Swan tweeted, Don't let your husband tell you, quote, it was an emotional affair and I never touched her, end quote, after a year-long relationship that included hotel stays, shopping sprees, out-of-the-country trips, paying bills, I love you voicemails, and buying her a BMW. He's lying period and he put a link to the story about John Gray. That particular tweet has since been deleted likely due to the controversy that it was causing for such a high-ranking Kojic bishop to call out a popular preacher but he also mentioned all the tea that the alleged mistress spilled on Larry Reed live in another tweet. Someone said bishop where did the car trips and emails come in I heard no mention of that in this clip 
and he responded, Mistress dropped all the receipts the day after he appeared on the reel. Voicemails, pics, hotel receipts, passport stamps, etc. She got tired of him and wifey dogging her like she manipulated him. Now, the way Aventer told the story to the congregation at Relentless Church, it did appear that she was painting the picture of the quote-unquote strange woman manipulating John Gray. And I'm assuming that that's probably because that's how John Gray relayed the story to her. And then I prayed for them and him, and then the devil loses. Because what's not going to happen is you tell me that I'm going to lose my purpose because somebody whispered to a 16-year-old John, the devil is a lie. I'm standing with my husband, and you can go on back to the pits of hell where you came from. Yeah, was I upset? Yes. Was I heartbroken? Yes. But you better learn how to get in there for the, what, what's the vows? Better and worse. Okay, so when the worst shows up, you don't run away. When the worst shows up, you pray. Now, I might have said a few words and uh, told him to sleep on the couch and some other things. However, when the word is inside of you and you know what your position is, everything else is false. I know who I am. I am the rib that God took from him. I'm his rest in brokenness. Rib, rest in brokenness. Until he wakes up and understands who he is. You pray, wife, while the devils run away. Amen? I'm not saying to sit there in perpetual foolishness. I'm saying to pray the devils away. If you give up too soon, he wins. But he couldn't have this purpose. He knew what this was. And he was coming for y'all. That's why he came for us. We know better. We know better. I see you, devil, but you don't want it with me. I get in the eyes of the devil. Do you hear me? You can't have this here, devil. I don't care. I just look cute. But the devil don't want it with me. I put scripture on that strange woman. I put scripture on that strange woman. She don't want it with me. And she don't want it with y'all. Amen. From the voicemails and from the receipts, it sounds like it was the other way around. The alleged mistress was an old classmate of John Gray who had come to him for counsel after her divorce. And instead of pointing her in the direction of a female counselor, hello, he sweet talked her and gave her money and gifts in exchange for physical, physical companionship. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about this Kojic Bishop calling Pastor John Gray out for lying to his wife and to all of America on national television. Do you think he's doing the right thing by calling out a lie when he hears one? Or do you think he should have dealt with Pastor John Gray privately? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. And here are some details about the Ask Kirby mobile app where you can also comment and talk about celebrity news. You can use the app to discuss your favorite celebrities and get advice all in one app. The celebrity gossip does get a little messy, so just remember it is allegedly and is completely anonymous. No email or registration is required. You just download the app and jump right into it. And it's free and available for both iPhone and Android. Hey there, Layla. I've got some tea for you, girl. And it's hot, fresh, and messy. With the Ask Herbie app, you can now sit back and sip some tea or share some tea, all anonymously. And while you're there, you can even anonymously request advice or give advice to others on anything from relationships to everyday issues. Plus, listen to Herbie as he picks his favorite topics and replies to them himself in the Herbie Says section of the app. It's easy to join the Ask Herbie community. Just download the free app on your Android or iPhone device and jump right into the party. No email address or registration is required. And remember, it's completely anonymous. So what are you waiting for? Download Ask Herbie today. Attention YouTubers, you've asked and I'm delivering. I'm sharing with you step by step my secrets to making money on YouTube. And my free guide, How to Make Money on YouTube, is the first step to learning exactly what to do to make money on YouTube. So go to my new website, howtomakemoneyonyt.com to download your copy today. 
The link is here on the screen, it's in the description box, and it's in the comments, so you can't miss it.